Now, a Cheltenham girls rugby team is through to the semi-finals of the National Cup, which means, basically, we've got one of the best four teams in the country right here in Gloucestershire. Cheltenham North Rugby Club is based out between Bishop's Cleve and Stoke Orchard. It's under-15s girls team went to Essex over the weekend to play and beat Eton Manor 32-10. And as a way to show support then to Ukraine, they actually all played in blue and yellow socks as well. Let's have a chat with their coach, Ian Parker, who joins us on the programme. Hi, Ian. Hi, how are you? A very proud Ian Parker, I should imagine, yeah. hey? Very, very much so. It was, it was lovely and, you know, the girls performed brilliantly well, which was ultimately what we hoped for, but they were just exceptional and they deserved everything they got because they put lots of hard work in. What makes these girls so good then? Because, I mean, there is a pretty thriving setup of of girls' rugby, I'm hearing, out and around Gloucestershire. I was only chatting to, to Mike Tindall the other day, telling about his little Mia playing up at Minchin Hampton, and I, I know the Chapman Tigers just down the road from you have, have got a decent setup as well. It sounds like it's really blossoming. Yeah, Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire and the sort of the southwest generally are pretty good for rugby. And I think, you know, obviously we've got some brilliant teams around here Premiership and, you know, Gloucester Hartbury women are, are fantastic as well, and they're so inclusive. And I think girls, for us, there's a lot to look up to, but our girls, you know, they put a lot of work in, they put a lot of effort in to get to where they are and they deserve the credit for the fact that they've done that. You know, they put all the effort in all weather training. You know, we have 40, 50 girls training on a Friday night and it's, you know, it's brilliant to see them actually, you know, it doesn't matter if it's raining or muddy or whatever, they get stuck in and they've proved that actually hard work pays off. Amazing. And I understand the team is made up of girls from eight very different schools right across yeah. the area. Yeah, all across, you know, we go right up to, we've got a girl from Stowe, Ebony, she's brilliant. And then we've got some lots of schools in Gloucester. We've got obviously Cleve School, they provide some brilliant girls. So yeah, we're really lucky. And actually, I think having lots of different schools sort of almost help, makes them almost a better team because obviously there's that close knit at the rugby club and then the school and everything, all their sort of, should say, work life is separate. So yeah, it, it's lovely and they obviously get on really well when they're really inclusive, which helps. So are they playing rugby at school? No, most of them, they've done a little bit and... I think that's probably one thing for me that I'd love to see more is a bit of the girls up, get an opportunity at school as well. They have done before pre-COVID, as always, they did a little sevens tournament and some girls actually then came to us because of that. Um, but they don't do enough at school. And they, it's just, I guess it's down to numbers for lots of schools, but it would be lovely to see more of it. I'm going to make you blush now. So that, that means as a coach, you're doing a pretty good job because this is the only way they're learning to play with their rugby is with you. Yeah, and it's nice. I mean, I'm very lucky. There's there's the other coaches that help me. I've got um, John Poulton, I've got uh, Carrie and uh, Steve Crow, and then I've also got a couple of others that help coach the younger ones, but they also help us, Craig and Mark, and they do brilliant jobs, and all of us do. And I think, you know, we just love as a coaching group to see them playing the game that we all love, you know, and actually getting out there and enjoying it and, and giving that passion the same as we did. Maybe we can't quite so much anymore because we're getting a bit old for that, but... You know, it's lovely to see them play and actually we give just as much. We probably get back more than we put in, so it's lovely. And is it filling that void of, of not being able to play? I know you, you played for about 20 years, didn't you, at Chapman North? Yeah, yeah, we played for a long time. Yeah, definitely. It, it's lovely, you know. Obviously, my daughter plays, which is nice nice for me to see, and my little boy plays as well in a different team, obviously. And he, um, you know, they, they both love it. And it's Actually, I think a lot of it's down to the club and how welcome it is. You know, all the children, the whole club throughout, it's just a happy place on a Sunday morning when everybody's there. You know, the buzz in the club and everything like that is just superb. It's lovely. So it's really nice. And tell me about the decision to play in blue and yellow socks. So you know, one of the parents suggested, but the girls took it on, really. They were, they were like, yeah, that's brilliant. We'd love to show it. We'd love to show that support. And actually, after having worn them, they actually want to wear them for the best of the cup run, at least. And maybe even until, you know, until it stops, as it were, yeah. until the war stops. So they, they were really took on board. And actually, I think they were, you know, it was their idea. Like, Could we wear it? Could we do it? And we're like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Oh, yeah, so, well, it's a great idea and let fingers crossed they're lucky socks as well they can take, take them all to the final so what's next then you're into the semi-finals who do you play so we don't definitely know yet we're semi-finals definitely the 27th of march so less than two weeks away, less than three weeks away um we think we're going to be playing liverpool st helens and we think it'll probably be away but we don't know for definite yet we're still waiting for the rfu to let us know and to confirm it and then the other two teams, so we're sort of like, although we're the Midlands, we're actually in the northern half of the draw. Right. So um, that's why we're playing Liverpool St Helens, even though you'd also actually, that would then mean that Eton Manor was technically the Midlands, <laughs> which I'm not sure is actually true. Well, somebody has got a dodgy, dodgy map yes. of the UK somewhere. Uh, but obviously Liverpool, St Helens, it's, that's rugby league country, isn't it, you're going yeah. to? Yeah, but they've got a very good setup up there. They're, they're actual, they've got, obviously, they're, us, they're playing us in the semi-final, but I think their older girls are through to the semi-finals as well. So, They've obviously got a very good setup up there. You know, for us, it's just about 
you know, win or lose, as long as the girls go there and perform as well as they can, you know, if whoever beats us are a very good team, because our girls are very good, you know, and if we lose, then well done to them. But I think, you know, we've got to believe, I think we can go there and win it and hopefully go all the way. But we don't want to worry about that. We've got to win the semi-final first. Oh. And are there a few of them who'd like to play for Gloucester Hartbury? Do they have that those kind of aspirations? Yeah, I think, and, and that is a lovely thing, you know, we've been to watch Hartbury play a couple of times. We did like um, a training session before one of their games, you know, at Hartbury before the game was played. I think uh, women's rugby is really inclusive. And I think, you know, you stand out throughout the game, a men's game, they're all gone. And I understand that. But with the women's game, they're there to show, um, you know, shake hands, have photos, you know, all of them there to, to keep the girls coming back and include them. And I think that's one thing about women's rugby is that they are brilliant at that. Mm. And I think there's definitely a few of them that aspire to be there. And I think hopefully there will be some that make it there, at least maybe even all the way to England. You never know. Brilliant. Well, congratulations on getting this far. And um, yeah, we'll look, we'll look forward to seeing what comes next. And fingers crossed, <laughs> a final. Yeah, crossed. yeah we're, Thank we're, you very much. Thanks very, very much indeed. Keep us in touch. Uh, really interested to chat there to Ian Parker, their coach of Cheltenham North girls rugby team through to the semi-finals of the National Cup. And they are one of the four best teams in the country. Fingers crossed. One of the two best teams, the best team in the country. Uh, there is a path all the way to the final, hopefully with their yellow and blue socks on. <laughs> <laughs> 